and uh, and who funds it? Uh -huh. this originally, it was founded through a grant of the Swedish government. Maybe that was rather remarkable. It was, unfortunately, it was a one-time grant, and we were on our own. Uh, actually, people responded. Uh, I did a lot of time in fundraising in the States, which was really rather remarkable because in fundraising, you conversations with people. And so we were able to do that. Right now, a great deal of our funding comes from the European Union because they see us as the quintessential, quintessential European project that we promote a European identity, which is actually the Jew, you know, as they say, Jewish identity has been the European identity, a European identity. So uh, the EU, for a great extent, now the Swedish government as well gives a grant. Unfortunately, it doesn't cover everything. We still, the Foucault School, it is funded by the government. Uh, we still do fundraising. And actually, as someone once said to me, you know, thank you for allowing us to participate in this. I think it's a remarkable thing to see who these people are. Um, more about the program, nine, close to 900 graduates all over Europe. You can find them, just scratch the surface and you'll find them. And a strong alumni network, by the way, a yearly conference throughout Europe. You're invited this year. It's going to be where, Anneli? I forgot where our conference is going to be. Um, in any case, we, uh, I thought it was, it might be in Croatia. In any case, we uh, have Saloniki. Saloniki. I'm sorry. It's right. So we're going to we're going to go Greek, which is now, by the way, a lot of his control contained in the word paideia. Paideia is a Greek term, but that was a Greek concept that Alexander the Great brought to the ancient Near East that said, you know what, if you want to become, they couldn't control all these, all these cultures. So they gave away for people to become Greek, and that was through studying Greek text. That was Paideia ben Sira in the first century before the common era. Took that notion and formed the first Bate Midrash. Paideia is a Bate Midrash, but we used this European word, Paideia, to show that we're dedicated to the enrichment of the conversation between Europe and Judaism. We learned our Bate Midrash is really because there were Greek, there was Greek Paideia. So there's a lot just in the word itself. 